When it comes to ventilating your home, you actually have a lot of options. And today I want to talk to you about one option that is actually pretty advantageous to you. At our company, we install a lot of electric power vents and I have long said that I am more of a believer in the electric power vent than in the solar vent. And the reason why is that the electric vents cost, right now they cost about $150 and the solar vents cost, uh, they, they can cost a lot more than that. So the model we're going to talk about today costs $750. And in the past, the problem was the electric model that costs so much less pulled way more power. So you've got the big discrepancy in the price, but you'd actually need like three of those solar vents to pull the same power as the electric vent. So it's a huge price difference um, and it's a lot less power. But of course, solar has come a lot further in the past few years and it will continue to do so. I am guessing in like 50 years that solar is gonna be where it's at and we just have to, technology just has to get there and they have to keep improving it. So we are going to talk today about the Attic Breeze solar vent and it actually does, it has quite a bit of power um, to pull the air out of your attic. This particular model pulls 1775 CFM, and that's how vents are measured for their power. And CFM means cubic feet per minute. So it's just how much air is it able to move through your attic, and that is pretty good. So in comparison, the electric power vent that we really love and we install is the GAF Masterflow power vent, and the, there's different levels of power on those. There's a one, a two, and a three, but the one that we like to use does 1500 CFM. So the Attic Breeze is actually a little more powerful than that vent, which makes it pretty equitable. This one here is a 35 watt, made by Attic Breeze, like I said. It's an AB3523A, and it comes in several colors. I think you can even get it custom made to any color you want. But standard that we can go to a supply house and get, we can get it in brown, black, and gray. And that matches most rooms. But I mean, I saw on the website today, they have terracotta. So like there's all sorts of colors and it's a great solution. Sometimes we get into attic spaces where we can't do any electric power vent. Either there's no power or we can't access the space. We can't get up there like it's totally shut. And so the solar is really a great alternative. And the really, really nice thing about solar vents is that you actually get an energy credit from the federal government of 30% back. So that's not a check that they write you. It's you have to, when you go to do your taxes next year, you would actually have to owe money and then you can use the deduction, the 30% discount to take off of what you owe. And it's the cost of the entire repair. So if you're just putting in the vent, that would be that repair, right? But if you're re-roofing your whole house, then you need to work with your roofer and figure out, you, you need to be honest about it, of course, but figure out how much of that you can put into, like it could be that side of the house or whatever you work out with your roofer, but you could get 30% of that back. It just needs to be called out on your invoice that that's what it is that you put in a solar vent and um, then you can use that for your energy credit. So the difference between a tax deduction and a tax credit, a tax deduction reduces the amount of income that you can be taxed on. And that's not what this is. This is a tax credit and it's taken off of the amount of taxes that you owe. So you have to owe taxes to get it. In terms of financial gain, a tax credit is actually better than a tax deduction because it comes straight off the top of what you owe instead of just changing the amount that you're being taxed on. So it's really cool technology. It's come a long ways and I'm hopeful for the future that's going to go along even further. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, make sure you like and subscribe, ring the bell so that you can see more content when it comes out.